we are now in a Jaguar I-Pace and I will show you guys the auto steer system. It's pretty amazing. Um, it has lots of settings and uh, when I tried it the first time, uh, it was not set to use all the goodies, the, the steering for you. Uh, like you have an option where if you get close to the line, to the to the like to the lines here, it will just vibrate or the other option is that the car will steer for you so of course I enable that that it will steer for you and I also enable the L key and well it's called LKA but now it's supposed to be all the goodies so what you have to do is press this button here um, well, um, it has to detect enough wait a minute I, thought, I think maybe there, there, right. Now it's enabled. So you see we have green there. You have the lane icon and the steering wheel icon. Just like on um, um, Kona, on um, uh, Ionic, you only have the, 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 the lane icon, not the steering wheel. Uh, and in the Kona, sometimes the steering wheel disappears, but these two together will give you the best steering. Uh, right now, the car is steering for me. I'm, I'm not touching the steering wheel, see? Uh, I'm filming with one hand, the other hand is doing something else. And we will see how long it takes for it, before it bugs me. Uh, it's pretty amazing, like, I didn't count the, the seconds, but most systems like uh, ProPilot's, uh, Nissan's ProPilot and Hyundai's LKA will bug you after only 5 to 10 seconds, which is pretty annoying. Uh, Tesla system, Autopilot, is one of the best out there. It will usually bug you after, um, nowadays, after 30 seconds. Before, you could drive about a minute, or about one to three minutes before it bug you. This thing seems to be as good as Tesla. Like, it will not bug you. you I haven't touched the steering wheel. Oh, did a little correction there, uh, based on the road, I guess. And, uh, well, we can see what happens now. Um, it's going to be a split. Uh, uh, whoa, 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 what is that? It's suddenly disabled uh, the auto steer. I'm not sure what happened, but um, okay, let's let's wait for it to detect all the lines. Okay, uh, maybe it's not as good as Tesla after all. all right, but I, I, you know what? It, they never try to uh, to market this as good as Tesla or whatever. They never market it as an autopilot anyway. It's just a steering assist. But I want to see how good they are, um, these systems. So let's see again. Okay, let the car drive for me. Uh, maybe I should, I want to overtake this one. It's kind of slow. All right, I think there is some uh, some artificial uh, engine. Well, it's, it's not engine noise, there's some artificial noise activated. I heard it when I accelerated. You can turn that completely off, but I don't have time to fiddle with it right now. So, right, let's try again. Okay, so, uh, if I cruise like this, and then wait for the auto steer to enable there, All right? All right, okay, let's count the seconds now. Uh, five seconds. 10 seconds. I mean the, the road curves right now we have a merging going on and yes it can handle it just fine it corrected a little bit but it did it just fine all right uh, how many seconds now 15 seconds 20 seconds still no bugging what the heck is it <laughs> wow all right 30 seconds no bugging you can oh shit uh yeah that happened several times All right so you know what um suddenly i mean randomly the system will deactivate that is a bit scary so i think you should keep an uh, i mean you should keep on a hand on the steering wheel but um it does a pretty good job of steering for you in case you need to grab a banana or press some buttons or whatever because most of the time you won't take your hands off the steering wheel for too long but you know that 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 nice feature that you can just take your hands off the wheel to do something else is there yeah uh, now I should try to see what happens if I don't touch the steering wheel and uh, it will bug me it should bug me eventually and then what happens if I don't touch it? Like, 
is it going to bring the car to a complete stop or will it uh yeah we don't know let's try uh, it's a bit hard over here because we have these passing lanes you see it's like what you're gonna do oh okay let's go behind the wall oh no 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 it, <laughs> it disabled the other there again so um it's uh it's hard to test it right here because i keep keep touching the steering wheel let's try again okay um this is a little bit try and fail so Sorry for that. We uh, you see most of the like the, the raw info now. What's going on? What I'm trying to do? Um, trying to get the car to bug me because we want to simulate uh, what happens if let's say the the driver faints. He ha driver gets a heart attack or something. Very unlikely though, but could happen. Then what would happen with the car? Will it keep driving or will it stop or what? what what's gonna What's gonna do? You know? Let's see. Uh, now eventually the, the passing lane will stop, will end around here. We don't see any feedbacks like we see in the Tesla. Uh, actually, it's only Tesla that shows you feedback on, on what's going on on the road, on the screen here. All the other systems will only show you whether uh, the other steer is available or not. But now we are channeled through just one lane and eventually the car should bug me to... There, there. Okay, what will happen then? Next. It bugs me. And then it stops, bugs me. I didn't touch the steering wheel though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that, that is a bit unusual because uh, Pro Pilot and, uh, I mean, Nissan's Pro Pilot and um, Hyundai's uh, LKA will bug you and not stop. But this one seems to like bug you and then take a break. What's that? Boom, boom. And then it stops, well, huh? But it st still keeps going though. Uh, it still keeps going for some reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have my hands ready. At least one hand ready. Yeah. Uh, so, so it, it keeps going. <laughs> I didn't touch the steering wheel yet. And now it stops bugging me. Is this a bug? Or is it supposed to be like this? Uh, Alright, so... Uh, sorry. Okay, there. Huh? Huh? And then it stopped? And then... This is really weird. Sorry for, sorry for that, guys. I mean... Uh, you guys, uh, you see what's going on now, so uh, I, I'm not hiding any, uh, like, there, take a break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not hiding any uh, details for you guys, like, just trying to see what happens, and, um, wow, I sure switched to English, but it says take a break, alright? Uh, we're, still, we're still following the traffic, see we have cars in front of us. We are in a tunnel, we have uh, lanes, good road markings on the left and right side, and um, we're still driving. Uh, you know what? I think it allows me to do that because it's tracking the car in front of us. Yeah, well, we can see that in the, in the, the icon here, the, um, the orange icon. The car is telling us that it's tracking a car in front. If the, the, the Volvo wasn't there, then we will only see the, the green one. Okay. This is the third one. The third strike. Three strikes and you're out, man! And now it won't stop. Now it won't stop. I'm going to be banned now from Jack. Ah! Whoa! It, 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 okay, it disabled all the stair. That was scary. Oh. I think that's what's going to happen uh, if you don't do anything. It will disable all this there, just like um, uh, Hyundai Kona. It will, well, it, the, the Kona disables only the steering wheel thing, but it will still have that King Pong uh, feature. But this one disable all of it together. Uh, we will see uh, in the ne in the new update what will happen in the new software update. Uh, but uh, what how it works now is um, might not be optimal. Yeah, put it that way. But all right, um, that was a test. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching and uh, bye bye.